Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Our lesson objective is to match the spelling and high frequency words from Unit 9, Week 3 with photographs and video clips. The spelling words this week are going to have the vowel pair OO and sometimes the vowel pair OO sounds like a long U and it makes it sound oo oo oo. But other times, the vowel pair OO makes a sound uh. And so I'll try to keep two separate columns where we have the words where OO sounds like oo and the words where OO sounds like uh. We are also going to have two high frequency words that do not have the vowel pair OO. The first word that we have is spelled B-L-O-O-M and it's pronounced bloom. And the bloom is the part of the flower that has the petals. Bloom can also be a verb. When a flower blooms, that means that the petals are opening up. The next spelling word we have is spelled G-O-O-D and it's pronounced good. So here O-O said oo like bloom and here O-O says uh like good. And good is the antonym or opposite of bad. And if something is good, that means that it is positive, it's acceptable, you like it. The next spelling word is spelled H-O-O-K and it is pronounced hook. And a hook is a curved piece of metal and it might help you to think of a character from Peter Pan called Captain Hook. If you've ever seen the movie, um, Captain Hook's hand gets eaten by a crocodile and so he replaces the hand with a hook and that's where he gets his nickname, Captain Hook. You probably have some hooks around your house. Maybe you hang up your jacket on a hook. At school we used to hang up our backpacks on hooks. So take a look around your house or apartment. Maybe you can find a hook too. The next word is spelled S-H-O-O-K and it is pronounced shook. And shook is the past tense of shake. So when you shake something, that means that you move it up and down very quickly and the past tense of shake is shook. The next word is spelled S M. O O T H and it is pronounced smooth and if something is smooth that means that there are no wrinkles um, it's just very even and smooth can also be a verb uh, so for example if you're trying to spread frosting over a cake and you don't want there to um, be any ripples you would say that you want to smooth frosting onto the cake the next word is spelled S-O-O-N and it is pronounced soon and soon is a kind of a vague measure of time and it refers to not a lot of time. So if you ask your mom to play a game with you and she says soon, what she means is not very long, it's not going to take me a long time, but soon we'll play the game. But it's not exact, so she could mean five minutes, she could mean 10 minutes. If you wanna know the specific amount of time, you should ask. But soon implies that it won't be a long amount of time. The next word that we have is spelled T-O-O-T-H and it is pronounced tooth. And you've probably lost a tooth at this point in your life. Um, Teeth, that's the plural, are in your mouth and they help you to chew your food and break it down so that you can swallow it without choking. And if you put your tooth under your pillow, maybe the tooth fairy will come and bring you a treat. The next word that we have is spelled W-O-O-D and it is pronounced wood. And wood is a material you can use to build things some houses are made of wood. This table that I'm writing on is made of wood. Uh, wood comes from trees. And you can again look around your house or apartment and try to find some things that are made of wood. Let's take a look at the high frequency words. The first one is spelled A-N-O 
T-H-E-R, and it is pronounced another. And another is like a synonym for more. So if you have a cookie and you ask for another, you'd like more, you'd like one more. And that's what the word another means. The final high frequency word, it's kind of an interesting one, it's spelled D-O-E-S, and it can be pronounced two different ways. The first way you can pronounce this word is does, and in that case, it's a form of the verb do. So if I say he does his homework, it's like saying he either did his homework or he is doing his homework, he does his homework. It's a form of the verb do. But this word can also be pronounced does. And a singular doe is a female deer. So if I add an S to the end, that makes it a plural noun. So does would be more than one female deer. And I'm not sure if there's a special name for words like that that are able to be pronounced multiple ways. If you know of a name for those types of words, definitely send me an email or leave me a comment in Google Classroom. I'd love to know. Uh, but there are several words in the English language that can be pronounced differently, and the way you pronounce the word will change the meaning of the word. And this is a great example of that. It can be pronounced does or does. I have put together a collection of video clips so that you can try to identify your spelling words. You'll have about eight seconds to try to tell what spelling word or high frequency word I'm representing. Then after those eight seconds, the spelling word will appear in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and I'll say the word aloud so that you'll know whether you guessed correctly or not. Good luck identifying your spelling and high frequency words. Doze. Up. 
another. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that it will help you remember how to correctly spell the words from Unit 9, Week 3. That's all that I have for you today, but I will see you in my next video. Bye for now!